For a dog trainer, an e-collar is just another tool that we can use in our program. It's going to take the place of the leash and we will start to substitute using the e-collar in the leash's place. This cannot be used to teach while we're working with the dog. They need to be taught prior to applying the e-collar. Once they've learned their skills and they're comfortably doing their skills, then we can use this in place of the leash. When you first take your collars out of the box and your transmitter out of the box, you want to charge them. Put them on the charger for two hours. They'll go to a full charge in that length of time, be ready to use. You'll know that when they need to be recharged, the light on your receiver will be blinking red and the light on your transmitter when you press the button will be red instead of green. If you've got a green light here and a green light here, you've got plenty of battery life. If you've got a red light when, that's blinking and you've got a red light here, that means you can train a little bit longer, but you're gonna need to get this thing on a charger pretty quickly. Okay, to turn the unit on, we're gonna turn the receiver on. It has a on off button on top of the receiver. You're gonna press that button and the green light will start to blink saying that it is on. The transmitter does not have an on off button. It is on demand. When you press a button, any of the three buttons that are on it, it's on, but when you release the button, it's off. So therefore you don't have to turn this on and off. As soon as you turn this on, you wanna send it a signal from the transmitter just to make sure that they're synced up. I'm pressing the continuous button right now and you see a continuous red light here. That means that they are paired and they're ready to go. As you start to introduce your dog to the e-collar, one of the first things you wanna do is put it on the dog. And tension and tightness here is very important. Um, there's multiple ways to do this. My rule of thumb is I pull it to a specific hole on the collar strap where it's very tight and I back out one hole. That allows you to get a finger underneath it and that you can get a finger under the collar then you know it's not too tight, it's not strangling him. Once that is done, then it's time to do something fun. So immediately after you put your e-collar on your dog, it's time now to throw a tennis ball or throw a bumper and make him start to believe that when this goes on, we get to do something fun. So he looks forward to you putting an e-collar on. It is his uniform to get to go play in the game. So how do we get a dog to understand that this is nothing more than a leash? In our training, as we start to teach this dog, we're gonna be applying leash pressure with our leash on his neck. That's where it's going to, the leash will contact him. As we use the e-collar, it's going to be contacting the dog at the exact same spot, same location. So now, each time that we give a tug on the leash, we're going to give a light bump with a transmitter to send the signal to the e-collar to give the dog the stimulation. It's just a light tap. Each time that we use a tug on the leash, we're going to tap him with the collar. And before too long, in his mind, these two are the, the leash and the e-collar are the exact same thing. There is no difference between them. Now with that, you need to be careful. Probably the first two weeks, we're gonna have a min-max rule. No more than five stimulations per session so that you can avoid overstimulating the dog and having him start to worry about this. But get at least three stimulations in so that he can start to learn the lesson we're trying to teach him is that this and our leash are the exact same thing. As you start to stimulate your dog, you're going to use low levels of stimulation. And what we're looking for is a reaction from the dog. It could be to him to stop and turn his head and look at you. What I typically look for is a little bit of head drop and a swallow response out of the dog. If you look closely, most of the time when you see that, they're saying, I understand, I accept. I, I've got, I know I've done something incorrect here. Once we see that response, then we're gonna to start to think about that level on our intensity and stay in that level. Anytime that you see your dog vocalizing, you're out of bounds and you need to turn that wheel down. Rule of thumb here though is to always use the minimum amount of pressure necessary to get the dog to respond and to stop what his instincts are trying to tell him to do. Used properly, this is much easier on the dog than a regular leash is because it's less contact, it's less intensity but they've just been conditioned through training to understand they have to stop when they feel this. It's the word no to them. It tells them to stop their actions.
the Kitschy Pizza Cutter Wheel, the pizza slicer that revolutionized the way we cut our pizza. It has a sharp blade that ensures clean slices, even for the crispiest pizzas. Its integrated, comfortable non-slip handle fits right into the palm of your hand. Unlike traditional pizza cutters, it doesn't let grease or toppings get in the way of the perfect cut. It has a brilliant design that protects your hands from cuts and allows to safely store it when you're done. Now that's a rocker. Did I mention it's really handy? The sleek design allows you to firmly grip and slice with ease. The coolest thing about it is that it cuts more than just pizza. You can use it for greens, pita, herbs, pasta, pizza, veggies, onions. What? Have it your way with the kitschy pizza cutter. Plus, it's easy to clean and dishwasher safe. Thoughtfully engineered from the blade to its handle, this little pizza cutter covers all the bases, and we will outslice and outlast cheaper models. Cut pizza like a pro with the kitschy pizza cutter wheel. So this is James Deemer, the uh, inventor of the Deemer box. I have an emotional connection to my Deemer box because it's like my man purse, right? It's a way better version of a man purse uh, that I carry around with me, so. For me, being an outdoorsman, having something that keeps my phone safe, my keys, my wallet, all my valuables, keeps them dry and secure. It adds value to my life, having my music, having my storage, and having my battery basically everywhere with me and it sounds great. You can submerge this, there's a plug that goes into it that's built into the lid. It goes in in two seconds. So this becomes submersible. So you can put this in your pool, let it float, let it jam tunes. That's what I love about this product. It exceeds expectations for the durability, it exceeds expectations for the battery life. You know what we were doing uh, a couple days ago? For uh, We were just verifying our waterproofness. We filled a trash can full of water and we shoved one of these down for 30 minutes to see if it would leak. It didn't leak, it popped yeah. right up. <laughs> but you know, just do it the old fashioned way. Yeah. yeah, I love it. You can get a Deemer box of your own. I carry mine literally everywhere that I go. The goal is to do things together greater than you could do on your own yeah. and create jobs in the process and make things that add value to your everyday and to people's lives. That's what we're doing.
is the first drug-free, evidence-based respiratory muscle training device designed to serve patients with COPD, CHF, dysphagia, stroke, hypertension, Parkinson's, and neuromuscular disease. Its purpose for use is to improve respiratory muscle weakness, dyspnea, quality of life, and speech and swallow performance. The first breather was invented by therapist Peggy Nicholson in 1980 and has been prescribed to over 1 million patients. This new model builds on the success of the original and strives to further meet the needs of patients worldwide. The body was redesigned to accommodate patients with poor hand strength. The inspiratory and expiratory dials work independently of each other and now range from a negative 50 centimeters to a positive 55 centimeters of water pressure. The mouthpiece provides a superior seal for patients with a weak mouth grip. It now comes with a 15 millimeter to 22 millimeter adapter. And most importantly, patient compliance is high because they feel quality of life improvements within days. Evidence-based results of respiratory muscle training with a device such as the breather include increased MIP and MAP, improved oxygen saturation, reduced hyperinflation, improved laryngeal function for speech and swallowing, and improved delivery and distribution of inhaled medication. All this leads to faster weaning from mechanical ventilation, shorter length of stay, and lowered probability of hospital readmissions. Getting started with your new Baby Feel UV Sterilizer and Dryer is quick and easy. Place the UV Sterilizer on a flat surface and allow at least a 5-inch gap between the product and the wall to ensure proper ventilation. Now, simply plug it in. Before the first use, we recommend running a full cycle of the Sterilize and Dry mode. Please make sure not to use any water or cleaning agents inside the compartment. We highly recommend giving the inside of the UV sterilizer a quick wipe down with a dry cloth shortly after each use to remove any watermarks. This will ensure long-lasting effectiveness. For the best performance, we recommend a small gap between items when placing them inside the sterilizer. The control panel has four modes. To use the sterilization only mode, please place dry items inside the sterilizer. You may place anything from keys, credit cards, to phones and more. Now, just close the lid and click the Sterilize button. The default cycle duration is 11 minutes. Press the Sterilize button again to increase the cycle time to 16 minutes or 21 minutes. To use the Sterilize in dry mode, Wash the items thoroughly and shake off any water droplets. If you sterilize baby feeding equipment, such as bottles or breast pump parts, make sure to disassemble the items first. Place the items inside the compartment with the openings facing up. Close the lid and click the Sterilize and Dry button. The default duration of this cycle is 51 minutes. If the items in the compartment are freshly washed or if it's relatively full, click the Sterilize and Dry button again to increase the cycle time to 61 minutes. Once the cycle is complete, the items are ready to be used. No cooling time is needed. Use the Dry mode when only drying is needed. Shake off any water droplets from the items and then place them inside the compartment. Close the lid and click the Dry button. The default duration of this cycle is 51 minutes. You may reduce the time to 41 minutes in case the compartment isn't full or if the items require a light dry. To keep items dry and sterilized for up to 72 hours, shake off any water droplets from the items and then place them inside the compartment. Close the lid and click the Store button. The product will then start a full 51-minute cycle of the Sterilize and Dry mode and will perform short sterilization sessions every two hours. 
As long as the lid is closed, the items will remain sterilized for up to 72 hours. With all cycles, once a cycle has begun, the safety lock will be automatically activated. The UVC light will shut down immediately if the lid should be lifted during operation. Please remember that if this occurs, it will force the cycle to end prematurely and the contents may not be fully sterilized. If this happens, just rerun the desired function. At the end of the cycle, the UV sterilizer will beep six times to let you know that you may open the lid and take out the items. We are here for you anytime and will gladly address any question or issue you may have. Welcome, this is the tail wagon, the perfect way to include your furry family members in your outdoor adventures. The tail wagon comes ready to bike and has a weight capacity of 75 pounds. It can also be used with the optional stroller kits. And the kickstand is a great accessory that's compatible with the one wheel stroller kit. The parking brake is located in the rear of the trailer. The tail wagon also comes included with a handlebar. It can be easily removed by pushing the two metal buttons on the side. There are reflectors on the front and rear of the trailer, and the flag holder is located on either side of the trailer down next to the handlebar. The buckles on the sides of the trailer hold the entry flap and front cover closed. The tail wagon also features quick release wheels. The tail wagon's vinyl windows can be zipped down to keep out the elements. Then they can be rolled up and secured using the Velcro loops. The front cover can be rolled up and secured using the Velcro loops. Moving to the interior, the tail wagon is 23 inches tall by 19 inches wide. There is a removable washable floor, inner loops for hooking up the leash, and cargo pockets for storing leashes and other pet gear. To keep your furry friends secure, first latch the cover, then the lower flap. For easy storage, simply pull the red tabs and lay flat. For people looking to take their pet with them on their next adventure, the tail wagon is the best option.
This is the T-Smart Spin Mop and Bucket System. Casa Smart Wi-Fi Power Outlet. In this video, we'll go through the steps on how to install your new smart outlet. Unlike traditional in-wall power outlets, Casa Smart's power outlet allows you to independently control devices connected to each outlet from your favorite voice assistant or the Casa Smart app. You'll be able to turn appliances on and off, set schedules, and control them using voice assistants like Alexa, Google Assistant, or Microsoft Cortana. Now, if you're familiar with basic electrical wiring, this won't take long to install. If you're not, do not attempt installation yourself. Instead, contact a certified electrician for assistance. Ready? Let's get started. Before we begin, you'll need a secure 2.4 GHz home Wi-Fi network. For the installation, you'll need a screwdriver, wire stripper, and a non-contact voltage detector. 
First, download the free Casa Smart app on your Android or iOS device. It will help guide you along. If this is your first Casa Smart device, you'll need to create an account. Open the app and tap the plus symbol to add a new device. When you have a strong enough signal, click start in the app to begin. Turn off the power to the outlet with your circuit breaker. It's usually in the garage, but could also be located outside your home, in a hallway or closet. Let's make sure the power is off by plugging a lamp into the outlet to make sure it doesn't power on. Remove the faceplate by unscrewing the two screws holding it in place. Using the non-contact voltage detector, make sure no power is going to the outlet. Do not proceed unless you are certain the power to the outlet is completely off. Then, detach the outlet from the wall by removing the screws and gently pull it out from the wall box. With the Casa Smart app, indicate which color wires are attached to the old outlet. First, identify your ground, neutral, and line wires connected to your old outlet. Now let's look for the ground wire. This is typically green or bare copper. If there's no ground wire or if you're unsure one is present, please stop self-installation and contact a certified electrician. Label the ground wire with the supplied label. Feed the ground wire from the smart outlet along with the ground wire from the wall into a wire nut and twist until tight. While holding the wire nut, tug on each wire to make sure they're securely in place. Next, look for the neutral wire, which is normally white. If no neutral wire is present, the smart outlet cannot be installed in this wall box. If there's no white wire, please stop and contact a certified electrician. The neutral wire is typically found within the wall box with a wire nut on top of it. Remove the neutral wire nut that holds the existing wires together. Take the white wire from the smart outlet and group it together with the wires you've just exposed. Screw them all together using a wire nut. Because there are sometimes three or more wires, you'll need to gently pull on each wire to make sure they're all securely inside the wire nut. Now we'll deal with the line wires. Disconnect the line wires from the old outlet by unscrewing them. Use the wire labels to help you connect the wires to the correct screws in your new smart outlet. Give each wire a tug to make sure it is securely connected to the outlet. Push all the wires back into the wall box and try to push them to the side to make room for the outlet. Attach the faceplate by pressing it onto the front of the smart outlet. If you choose to use your own faceplate, make sure not to use metallic ones as they can interfere with your Wi-Fi signal. Turn the power back on to your circuit breaker. Finish configuring your smart outlet by connecting it to your home Wi-Fi by using the Casa Smart app. Enjoy your new Casa Smart Wi-Fi power outlet. Introducing the Musin Wild Mini, a retro army-style Bluetooth speaker with superior sound performance. The perfect companion for your next adventure. No matter if you're out for a weekend trip with your friends or just bring it when you're out alone, Musin Wild Mini is designed to unleash your authentic inner wildness at any place you can imagine. Now you can enjoy music on full blast, crank up the volume without sacrificing sound quality. The intuitive control makes it very convenient and easy to use. Just control your playlist directly from the speaker through Bluetooth without touching your phone. An included LED light makes it also perfect for night activities or camping. Rugged, powerful, and portable, Musin Wild Mini is not just another toy gadget but an extremely tough speaker with superior sound performance that fits in the palm of your hand. Using only premium materials, the speaker is designed with a full metal body, ammo boxes structure, and a unique knob shape, satisfying all your illusions of wilderness or military. Musin Wild Mini is a Bluetooth speaker for outdoor lovers, easy to carry, super sturdy, but not compromising in sound quality. Bid for your Wild Mini now and get ready for your next adventure.
No matter how big or small your business, your restroom is a reflection of you. Now you can put your best restroom forward with Pacific Blue Ultra, a new brand of coordinated products from GP Pro, the leader in restroom dispensing systems. Durability, sustainability, and efficiency you can count on at a price you can afford. Designed to maximize hygiene and minimize maintenance, Pacific Blue Ultra towel dispensers are built to withstand heavy use. One at a time touchless dispensing helps reduce waste and germs. The dispensers open 180 degrees for quick time-saving refills which fit both models. And the window lets you check supply status in seconds. Long, long lasting rolls mean less labor. And for those with limited storage, both natural and white rolls come in six and three roll cases. For a coordinated look, Pacific Blue Ultra soap and sanitizer dispensers and refills are engineered with you in mind. The adjustable portion control helps you reduce waste and smart nozzle design helps keep counters clean. Dispensers can even be custom printed for an added branding opportunity. Refills are designed to ensure 99% of the product is used and switching soap cartridges takes just seconds and can even be done with one hand. High quality soaps and sanitizers help support proper hand hygiene and all three fit the same dispenser. High capacity sizes help to reduce service intervals. Unlike open soap systems, the sealed top helps prevent germs and bacteria and refill bottles are 100% recyclable and have the EcoSmart seal of approval. Get the restroom your business deserves. Pacific Blue Ultra from GP Pro. That's affordable efficiency at work.
Some important belongings are difficult to replace. Others are impossible. If disaster strikes, are you confident your valuables are safe? Century Safe products are designed, built, and tested to meet tough underwriters' laboratory standards for a half hour of fire exposure. They're also third-party verified to protect against flood damage and submersion for up to 72 hours. Century Safes come in a variety of sizes to protect either a few small items like passports, cash, and jewelry, or larger items such as flat, letter-sized paper or hanging files. Many models include convenient carrying handles, giving the owner true portability. With digital or key lock options, these safes provide basic security that is easy to use. Century Safe. Creating peace of mind for a lifetime. I'm Phil McKnight from Breville. Today I'd like to introduce you to our latest drip coffee maker. We call it the Grind Control. One of the secrets to making great tasting coffee, whether it's espresso, press or drip filter, is grinding right before you brew. That's because the coffee beans contain delicate flavour aromatics that dissipate once they're ground. If you grind directly before you brew, you'll capture these flavour aromatics in the cup of coffee, producing a rounder, more fuller bodied cup. That's why the Breville designers have engineered a grinder right into the machine. So coffees of different origins, degrees of roast and age require very different grind sizes and amounts to get the best flavours from those coffees. So the Grind Control is the first household drip coffee maker that has an inbuilt adjustable grinder and calibration mode so you can adjust the grind size and the amount to get the very best flavours from the coffees you'd like to brew. So the Grind Control also has machine stainless steel burrs. Machine stainless steel burrs deliver a consistent ground particle size. This will deliver a more rounded, full-bodied flavoured coffee. The Grind Control has the flexibility to brew a 12 cup carafe or just a single cup. It has eight individual strength settings so you can get coffee just the way you like it. The extra high clearance gives you the flexibility to brew directly into tall cups and travel mugs. The grind control has a convenient auto start function. This means you'll always have fresh coffee in the morning. A top fill water tank allows easy filling and a swing out door gives convenient access to the removable coffee basket for cleaning. The machine also comes with a gold tone filter or you can use a standard paper filter for a cleaner tasting cup. The grind control, coffee just the way you like it every time.
Congratulations on your purchase of the Go Sun Sport, a revolution in fuel-free cooking. With this video, we will make you a solar cooking pro in no time. First, open the box and remove all the packaging from the stove, including the protective liner covering the reflectors. Screw in the handle to the flat side of the tray and orient the silicon seal so that the steam vent is facing up. Remember to remove the warning label from the inside of the cooking tray. Unthread your cleaning scrubby and set it aside. You'll need that later. And of course, read our user's manual for important safety information regarding your stove. To get started, open the stove and lock both legs in place using the S-clips. Be sure to only set the unit on a stable surface and keep the unit closed until you're ready to cook to avoid accidentally preheating the tube. When you're ready to cook, grasp the stove's central bracket and point the unit so that the reflector tips are perpendicular to the sun. Insert your food and relax.
files like a regular printer, so you may print to it from any application like Microsoft Word, Pages, Adobe, PDF, or websites that make a 4x6 shipping labels, including eBay, Amazon, Shopify, Etsy, ShipStation, Shipworks, and a whole lot more. We don't believe in proprietary business models, so Rolo plays nice with all websites and applications, unless the application was specifically made to work with certain printers only. When you get your Rolo, be sure to watch the short setup video. I'm in it. <laughs> It'll get your Rolo up and running in just a few minutes. On Rolo's website, you can find additional how-tos for specific platforms and short videos. Of course, Rolo support is available should you need any assistance. Thank you for watching and happy printing.